Alright, this video is going to be over congruent angles and how to identify congruent angles and how to come up with um, an, an angle measurement using um, the laws of congruency. Alright, the first thing that we need to go over is what does congruency mean? Well, the word congruency um, the word congruency means so this is the word congruency, it kind of looks kind of odd so congruency means um, it describes the relationship between figures and, and geometry. So the word congruent is just a descriptive word. And to be congruent, remember, that means that they have to have equal measurements, the same shape, and the same size. So um, in other words, this means that they are identical. So to be congruent you need to be identical. Have the same measurements, have the same shape, and have the same size. Alright, looking at these two shapes, triangle ABC and triangle DEF. And remember, um, I labeled it, um, th this would be my vertex because I just said um, triangle ABC and then this was my vertex because I said triangle DEF. Alright, now, when we're looking at these lines, remember there are slash marks on here. So, when you're looking for congruent lines, you're looking for slash marks or slashes. So here, line AB has one slash mark. And if you look at our second triangle, line ED has one slash mark. So this means that line AB is congruent to line DE because there is one slash mark that indicates that they are the same. If you look at line EF, and it has two slash marks. So when you look at the next triangle, you find two slash marks right here and that's line BC. So that means they are congruent. So line BC is congruent to line EF. Okay, and our last side, DF or FD has three slash marks and RAC has three slash marks. So that means that line DF is congruent to line AC. So all you need to remember is you need to look for the same number of slash marks on each figure. Now if this had two slash marks and this only had one slash mark, that means that they are not congruent. They are not congruent. So looking at our, our shape without all of our colors here, Okay, you can see that there's one slash mark here and one slash mark here. They are the same. Two slash marks here and two slash marks here. They are the same. Three slash marks here and three slash marks here. They are the same. Okay, so if I said, if I ask you a question, is line AC congruent to line FE. Well, let's look at our shape here. AC is right here and FE is right here. Are these two lines congruent? Well, there are three marks here and two slashes here, so that means they are not congruent. So they are not congruent. Alright, now let's talk about angles. Looking at this same figure, um, you notice that on the angles you see arc marks. So they're not slashes anymore, they are arcs. So this angle and this angle have the same degrees and the same 
arc mark. So that means that these two angles are congruent. So we can say that by saying angle C is congruent to angle F because these are the only angles next to these letters. Or if we wanted to name them by using all three letters, remember this angle has to be at the vertex, angle C has to be at the vertex, and angle F needs to be at the vertex. So we can also say angle A C B is congruent to angle E F D. So those are congruent because they have one arc mark and the same degree notation. Now let's look at angle A. Angle A has two arc marks which is with a 60 degree notation and angle D has two arc marks with a 60 degree notation. So we can say angle A is congruent to angle D. Or we can put D at our vertex and A at our vertex and we can say angle CAB is congruent to angle FDE. Our last angle has a box right here but it has no number notation. So what does that box mean? Remember if you have perpendicular lines and you can draw a box here that means that it is 90 degrees. So angle B has a box and angle E has a box so that means that angle B is congruent to angle E or by putting those two angles at the vertex you can say angle CBA is congruent to angle D E F. So if you're looking at lines you're following number of slash marks. If you're looking at angles you're following the number of arcs. Now let's look at this example. If we are given that AEB is congruent to CED, so we are given that AEB is congruent or the same as CED. So these are the same. And this M right here means the measure. So this means measure the measure so measure of angle CED so CED is 30 degrees. We want to find the measure of AEB so we want to know what this angle is right here. Well we are given that AEB and CED are the same so they are congruent and to be congruent means that you have the same measure same size and same shape so that means that this angle and this angle are identical. So if they are identical that means that this angle is also 30 degrees. So we can say the measure of angle AEB equals 30 degrees. So just make sure that you're understanding that when they give you this congruent symbol that means that they are the same. They're identical. Okay, They're the same measure, same size, and same shape. So if you are given one of these angles, that means it has to be the same on the other one. Hopefully this has helped you understand how to read congruent diagrams. Remember that um, lines have slashes and angles have arcs. 
If you are still confused and need some more help, you can look in your lesson for the written lesson or you can call your teacher.